Welcome back. Frank Haith is the Big 12 Coach of the Year, at least according to the media voting. Over the weekend, the coaches voted KU's Bill Self and Iowa State's Fred Hoiberg as co-coaches of the year, not Haith. But the Associated Press had a different winner today. Haith, the man who guided Missouri to a regular season school record 27 wins, helping the Tigers to three wins over top 10 teams, a 14-4 and four record in the league, earning Missouri a second place finish, the best since 1999 when the Tigers finished tied for second. Haith said he was humbled by the honor, but gave the credit to his team. So I think that we're very grateful and that what we've been able to accomplish so far, and I think this team should be commended for what they've accomplished. I mean, they've, they've set some standards here, you know, winning the most games in a regular season ever. They win most most games they've ever won in a in, in league play ever so those things are they cannot be taken away from these guys and uh but they're they're determined to have that chapter's closed now we start another chapter and that's postseason play <laughs> more honors for the tigers today marcus denman made the ap all big 12 first team phil pressy and ricardo ratliff were named to the second team michael dixon and kim english Honorable mention, the Tigers will open Big 12 tournament play on Thursday night in Kansas City. They'll face the winner of Wednesday's Oklahoma State-Texas Tech game. If Missouri can win the Big 12 tournament, the Tigers could end up getting a number one seed on Selection Sunday. You won't get the Tigers to say much about that yet, but it's fun to think about. I mean, in the big room of things, it doesn't really matter because, like I said, you have to play the games that you play when you're in the NCAA tournament. But I think it'd be good for the fans, and I think that if we won these three games, we'd be definitely deserving of it. Uh, it would be great to get a number one seed. It would be really nice to play in St. Louis, but that's so far, far out of our control and out of our reach. It would be, it w would be asinine to even look at that. Okay, then we'll look at the AP rankings instead. No change on top. Kentucky, Syracuse, Kansas, North Carolina up to four. Missouri is back in the top five at number five. Duke falls to six, then three Big Ten teams. Ohio State, Michigan State skipping down to Michigan at 10. Baylor falls to 12. Iowa State enters at 25. There's a good chance Mizzou will see the Cyclones in the Big 12 semifinals on Friday night. First of two conference league uh, championship nights at Columbia College. Ladies first, Columbia College. The Cougars playing rival William Woods for the AMC title. Tied at 31 at half. Owls from William Woods take the lead late. Blake French from three. Columbia's Julie Teeple from Versailles at 18 points. A late free throw to keep it a three-point game. 13 seconds left. William Woods icing it. Going along on the inbounds, Sharon Andrews had 20. No bigger bucket than that one. William Woods celebrates a 72-67 win over Columbia. The Owls earn an automatic berth to the NAIA National Tournament. Columbia men will host Hannibal LaGrange tomorrow night in another conference championship game. Cardinals losing to Miami on opening day of exhibition baseball for the Redbirds. Royals beat the Rangers 7-6. Back to basketball for our high school play of the week brought to you by Central Methodist University from last week's district tournament play in Sturgeon. Douglas Bulldog James Hughes steals breakaway jam. Our Central Methodist play of the week. And we'll have Class 1 sectional games tomorrow night in Sedalia. Uh, Chamoy and St. Elizabeth play there. Also the Otterville boys and girls also still alive in Class 1. Okay, Put on a lot of miles here when we hit yes, this, this we will. play. <laughs> That's right. Thanks.